Good evening, everybody. I figured it's been a while since I uh, uploaded, so I figured I'd do a little treat today. Thanks to a really good friend, uh, Daryl, VO1MDS, or uh, Radio Nut 53 I will uh, link his channel in the bottom as well. Um, got me a really nice uh, Radio Nut 63 correction on that. Got a really nice little interface built up on that and uh, running a bit of slow scan, which is hooked into the laptop as well as the ICOM uh, 5023H, which is the main two meter rig I use. And uh, here in a minute, we're gonna send a couple of images back and forth over two meter slow scan TV. Uh, the program we're using is called MMSSTV version 1.13a. Super easy to operate program. Go in, set up your call sign and information on that. Then you go into your TX tab. We've also got our CW ID set up so that we don't get ID every single time on the radio. And our TX button is right there. This will be the RX window where we'll listen. And then uh, that's my history there, some of the past ones I've received. Different modes. Some of uh, different templates I got made up just to make it a bit quicker. Waterfall over here on the other half and here in a minute or two we're gonna get a quick qso on the go so hopefully you enjoy if you enjoy the video give a little thumbs up at the end subscribe if you're so inclined to and uh i'll post a link to his channel so you can go over and have a look too on the other end as we're all set up here First, I'm going to go down here, do my C CWID. And then transmit. And I'm going to go over to my RX window. I'm going to give it a second now. That was the CWID come in. Like I said, waterfowl's all over here. Sometimes when you get that slant in it, go over here to the sync tab. You'll see the little face down here. Click on that. Give it a second to load. Okay, then I'm going to go to my template. Oh. Now I'll go over to my history. Copy. Template. Oh, 
Sorry, having a bit of trouble here. Well, let me put his image in. Another one coming in. Still having a bit of trouble, bear with me. Moving a couple things around to make sure they'll be in the image. And sending. Sorry about all the editing and then in the middle of the video, I had a bit of trouble there for a minute. I'm still getting used to the program. This is only my first day running it. I will do a video tomorrow or the next day of working on HF and do a better video.